we started the firm in 2006 and opened our doors in 2007, uh, we, we weren't projecting a, uh, a financial tsunami in 2008-2009. When I joined EDGE, it's actually still a running joke that Elizabeth coming to EDGE in October 2007 directly coincided with a steep drop off in the S&P 500. It was, a, it was a challenging time to launch a new firm. Uh, and if you think about any business, especially a wealth management business, there's things you can control and there's certainly things that you cannot control. And given the uncertainty in the financial markets, the uncertainty in the economy, uh, it was tough to have confidence to invest client assets with that backdrop in play. But the one thing I knew that we had was we had a talented individuals, we had individuals that had a lot of experience in capital markets, and we had a lot of confidence in each other when we started this business that we were gonna make the right decisions. Smaller registered investment advisory firms were able to capitalize on the disruptions in the 2008 crisis. There were challenges and opportunities. Some of the challenges were the increased time that their clients were demanding of them, uh, the increased questions and the education that they, that they needed to get through that difficult time. But then there's some great opportunities too. For the firms that were run really well, there was some really great talent out there that were looking for work and that were smart and capable and able to do a great job for them. When we started EDGE, we had a vision that the, the industry was trending towards independent registered investment advisors, in particular holistic uh, RIAs, which is our core business. And so it was very easy for us to differentiate ourselves. And in addition, uh, we had a number of prospects who were watching us in, 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 uh, from 2007 and beyond and they saw that we survived the financial crisis and, and frankly it gave them the confidence that we were really a sustainable firm. So in Starting Edge, we came from a variety of places, a variety of background and experience sets. So I myself came from Goldman Sachs. We had team members come from Morgan Stanley, Lehman Brothers, Credit Suisse. We have backgrounds ranging from investment banking to institutional fixed income to private equity to equity sell-side research. And we think the difference in the perspectives that we have on the investment markets is one of the values that we bring to our clients. We went the independent route because we really felt like Wall Street had lost its way, to the way with the way it worked with families. And while there are plenty of good people at the broker-dealer firms, the way they're managed, the way they're compensated, it makes it difficult for them to do the right thing all the time. And so when we wanted to end our careers doing it the right way, really the only option for us was to be an independent firm. Leaving Ernst & Young, uh, obviously a very safe and secure long-term job, and coming to a new firm in Edge Capital is a seemingly risky career move, but when I got to know the people here, I didn't think twice about it. Everyone here at Edge enjoys working in this type of environment. Um, there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of openness for creativity. People want to hear your ideas. They want to help you put these ideas into place for our clients. With you know some of the larger firms, there could be a bit more bureaucracy, and it's a little bit more difficult to to get things done and to change things and make things better for your client. When I look back at hindsight, I think the, the 2008 financial crisis really helped us from a firm perspective. I think it was more of a, a benefit to us. I know that sounds somewhat counterintuitive given how difficult the landscape was. Um, but uh, and I think about the Warren Buffett quote, which is when the uh, tide rolls out, you see who is swimming naked. And I think in 2008, I think in the, the tide for a lot of the big Wall Street banks was that financial crisis. And I think what that did is it opened the doors for the independent registered investment advisor to really uh, gain attention from clients that maybe previously to the crisis would not have focused much on the independent, on the smaller model. We started with zero assets. And after six months of investing in infrastructure, we were in touch with a few hundred million dollars from our early clients. Today, we manage about $2.7 billion of assets. You know, when you take a look at our geographic footprint, we started in Atlanta, but we expanded to Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, Tampa, and Lexington, all based upon where we could find the right professionals to be able to serve our client needs. And as we've continued to grow, we've needed the right partner to grow with. That's where a partner like Pershing comes in. When Edge transitioned to independence, uh, like many firms, they didn't know what they don't know. Uh, they were really looking for a partner just to provide the basic foundational blocking and tackling. As their firm has grown almost tripling in size since they've gone independent, they've really looked for a more robust set of solutions uh, to serve their complex needs that their clients have each and every day. Our goal at the, at the start of, of EDGE was to become a national firm and now we want to become a global firm. And uh, we're chipping away at it. Uh, we're, 
We're in the early innings of our lifetime here. You could tell that there was something special about this group. There was a true entrepreneurial spirit here, and I, I knew it was going to be a success, and it has been.